Now welcome to the skies of London Town. <laughs> yeah, isn't it a beautiful day to fly on board the Cirrus SR22? You know, uh, this is actually quite nice. Um, I mean, we're in England, so probably we should fly this plane from the right-hand side. I've never made this joke before, actually, but um, that's obviously not how it works. Whatever. Talking about landing, we're actually approaching the airport of London City. It's right ahead of us, isn't it? You know, we're just flying through the city of London. This is actually looking quite nice. But you know, this only makes sense. We know we're in a pretty small plane, and we're approaching a pretty small airport too, so this shouldn't be a problem, should it, right? So, uh, let's just land down here. But wait! What we're actually doing right now is kind of illegal. We can actually not fly this plane to London City, which is, uh, something I found really interesting. I found this out very recently, and it's actually quite illegal to land this plane down at the airport. Not because it's too big or anything, because, you know, there are restrictions on that there, but rather because it's too small. More on that later. But let's just go ahead and break the law. I think it's a law, actually, right? This is a controlled airport, so I think that would make sense. Yeah, let's <clears throat> break the law and um, come in for a landing here at London City. See so, yeah, how this is gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. A nice flare. And a pretty nice touchdown indeed. What the... Yeah, this is where my truly incredible flying skills of the Cirrus comes into play. I do fly this plane in real life, but this has gone actually quite well, hasn't it? Wait, let's check out. Wait, how was this that's butter? This was just a random landing. Oh, that was actually quite nice of a touchdown. Okay, but still illegal. That's uh, probably just we're gonna get arrested right now. Maybe we, we're gonna get five stars. It's not really happening in the flight simulator though, is it? Let's now talk about why flying a plane like this is actually illegal here. See, this airport, London City, is known for being an airport of many restrictions in general. And especially, it is very much restricted on what aircraft can fly here. It makes sense. Of course, two big planes cannot fly here, but two small ones cannot fly here either. And there's one specific element about this kind of plane here too, the PC-12, that makes it not being allowed to fly here. And that is actually, it's only engine that it has. Yes, single engine aircraft are not allowed to actually fly here at this airport. So uh, this is uh, literally too small of a plane apparently. And it's um, also broken. It doesn't seem to want to start. All right. Uh, okay, PC-12 was broken. Great. Yeah, <clears throat> let me just try to practically demonstrate this with uh, a plane like this too, the Cessna 172, which is, it's also broken. Why is it broken? All right, this one. This one is also broken. We can we at least start it? What? Why are all planes? God damn it! I'm just trying to make a point here, and now the whole flight simulator is broken. God damn it! I mean, honestly, I'm quite sure this is because, of course, the simulator knows that we're doing something illegal, and they don't want us to do it. And this is why none of the planes actually work now. Hmm. I'm pretty sure spawning in with a twin jet plane or anything will not be a problem at all, right? So this is actually smart. We have to think further. Right? Yeah, apparently this is a very highly realistic flight simulator now, X-Plane. Uh, the only plane that really works here now is the Cirrus SR20. This is so strange, but probably very mysterious too. Let's just come in for a takeoff, see how this is gonna go. Because I, uh, I forgot, I, I wanted to demonstrate something, okay? Actually demonstrate why a plane exactly like this isn't allowed to fly here. Okay, for- Oh no. Okay, weird. Um. Oh, everything just broke down again. Something did not work here now. Huh? My whole mouse and everything is disconnected now. When I wanted to... This is not a joke. Even... I have, I have, I'm monitoring my camera with this right now. And, uh... It all disconnected. It's back now. But just when I wanted to take this plane off, everything broke. You could even hear the Windows disconnection sound. But everything is back now. Something is really holding me back from doing this. This is fairly illegal. Okay, let's just go ahead and take off. What is going on with today's video? Nothing is working. Alright, let's take off. Okay, that's working. And, um, honestly, I just want to go about the parking brake. There we go. Parking brake is unset, and we're doing something very bad now. What is gonna happen? Is a lightning gonna strike me now? I don't know. Anything can happen now. That's a little strange. All right, let's take off and see how this is gonna go. All right, all right, everybody. 75 knots. That's fine. Let's go ahead and now get this plane out of here. Really, we are already airborne, as you can tell. But, um, soon after takeoff, something happens. And that something is exactly the reason why this plane wouldn't be able to fly here in real life. All right, let's just go ahead and cut the- th there we go, the th the, <clears throat> the mixture. We just cut the mixture. Basically, uh, kind of simulating an engine failure. Yes, our engine has failed, and we are now falling down again. I would now kind of try to get this plane landed again, which is probably not gonna be possible. It's time to put this now down into the water. Yeah, this is exactly the reason why you cannot fly this plane here. This was weirdly demonstrated, but basically the reason why this plane shouldn't be able to fly here is because it- 
um, there we go, that was actually a nice landing. A single engine aircraft, of course, only has one engine that can fail. And if that one engine fails, we're down in, into the water. And something's severely gone wrong again. Is this flight simulator crash now again? Damn. There's quite a curse on London City Airport, isn't there? Oh man, I'm pretty sure this video is gonna get me in trouble. Now, of course, this rule about the London City Airport obviously concludes every type of plane. Also, a jet plane, a single engine jet plane like this Cirrus uh, Vision Jet. This one also couldn't fly here, because again, if that failed, that would be it we would be in the middle of the city. Where, of course, uh, there's nothing around us to save us other than buildings and maybe the th uh, River of Thames, but that's all that is to it. It's just way too dangerous to fly a single-engine plane here, in in indeed. Now, you know, that, again, concludes jet planes, turboprop planes, piston planes, but also, of course, rocket planes. I'm pretty sure the X-15 plane that I flew yesterday wouldn't be able to fly here either, so this is good. Let's uh, come in for a landing here anyway. Let's see what kind of trouble is going to come from that. I mean, my computer isn't yet on fire, but, you know, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen pretty soon. Alright, a pretty nice landing here at London City Airport. Actually, wait, this has been butter. This has been generally butter. Okay, I, th I can see the landings of today, even though they are highly illegal, are pretty smooth. That's going quite nice. But this is probably gonna get me in a lot of trouble just touching down this plane here, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, there's tons of other restrictions, like, uh, for example, helicopters aren't allowed to fly at this place either. Probably because... Also, flying in the middle of the city with a helicopter. I mean, it's probably gonna be pretty loud. Helicopters are always very loud, but we have 737s flying here, practically. Maybe it's also the engine failure thing again, but I'm really not quite sure. And I don't really know how to fly a helicopter, so we're just gonna drop to death into the water. So we're not gonna damage anyone, right? We're just gonna die. <laughs> I mean, here's actually the official London City website, which is a very weirdly looking website, honestly. Oh uh, yeah, helicopters and vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft are not allowed to fly here. So I'm guessing the F-35 shouldn't land here either. And also again, mention of the single engine aircraft and also flying for club or leisure purposes is not permitted. Whatever that is. Why? Why? But on the other hand, of course, it's quite weird to then see, you know, planes like the Avro or some Embraer planes flying here. But after all, they are not the loudest. They are, especially, they have engines that can save each other when they, you know, fail. And of course, they transport passengers, which after all is the point of an airport, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, here are some approved uh, airliners here on Simple Flying. You know, most of these are actually, you know, some turboprop planes and some smaller jets. The the biggest plane to really fly here is the A318, which doesn't fly here anymore, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, great. I mean, yeah, it's quite annoying that this airport has all these restrictions, but it's all to just improve the quality of life here in London, of course. It's important to uh, keep the noise levels down of all these aircraft flying to this place. And also, of course, the safety of this <laughs> place, indeed. I mean, really don't want to have a plane crash into your house. I mean, if you live down there, this could genuinely happen with something like a Cirrus or a Cessna flying here. You know what, amateur? flying, you wouldn't really want to miss, honestly. It does make sense to have this here. Also, uh, this airport is only allowed to have like 110,000 airplane movements in one year. So, uh, you know, they want to keep traffic down, keep the noise levels down. I think that makes sense. And again, all in for safety. That's really important. Now, we're doing something that's finally not illegal. So, this is Ironically, it's been the hardest landing of today. <laughs> Great. Yep, flying a two-engine ERJ-145 here. No worries at all on the legal perspective. This has been a fine landing, though. So that's London City. Of course, the airport of restrictions. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. All my members here on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Dilo, Tyler Park, Ian from Osk, Garkham, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Signs, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Play Aviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.